Hey guys, a look at, an, at a, another favorite Oracle deck of mine in 2020. That is Beyond Lemura by Izzy Ivy, Blue Angel Publishing. A total of 56 Oracle cards and a guidebook. The box looks absolutely fantastic. The design overall, um, you've got one of the main themes of the card, looks absolutely fantastic. By the side, you've got the author, name of the cards and the publishing group and it's the same on the other side and that design pretty much goes across of the box and this is what it looks like on top and here at the back you get some illustration of what the cards will look like um, short summary of the deck itself and what it pretty much represent the box is absolutely fantastic solid as anything so i've kept my cards in this box normally i use pouches but it's absolutely brilliant when you do open the box up you're presented um, with the cards now normally it's the other way around you get the book first and then the cards underneath um, but you know I've, I've had these for what four or five months now um, but yeah you get this massive guidebook um, looks very colorful on the outside again it continues that theme from the front of the box and this is what it looks like at the back where this will be kind of like the um, front of the card and it's quite a fairly chunky book so there's quite a lot of information in there and then you have the cards there now the cards come um normal edged so they're plain white but um i've kind of edged it to match the design at the back um very nice sort of like matte finish overall and they are big big size cards this is what the design overall will look like at the back very nice and colorful it does have a massive big black border um which i don't understand why but it's it, it's still not bad you've got the overall design what it looks like at the back again it's a matte finish we'll have a close look here close look at this card you know this has to be the best matte finish card that i've have and hell it feels very very nice it's not so sticky it's not quite difficult but the design really does kind of shines out nicely not a lot of reflection as well you do have mats that sometimes do have that reflection and inside with the, the overall design and some of them will have borders others doesn't even have any borders underneath of the card by the side i think 10 cards will have an associated symbol um, of that card so here you have a water element and then you have the symbol of the element of the water there by the side again it's the first well this is card number 12 first 12 cards or so I, I presume card stock it's not very thin not very thick it's just right there in the middle it feels very very nice um and the stock quality the quality overall it's very very good i mean these are very massive cards so the quality overall is absolutely excellent really solid not cheaply made at all so these cards are definitely going to last you quite a long time and you know the overall matte finish is, is nice in the hands i got medium sized hands they are massive um they are very very big cards just to give you an idea of com um, comparison we've got the um, the good toro which is a massive card and you could see there how it dwarfs it overall so it's quite fairly tall and a lot more wide Here's another like close look of the the good Toro size comparison wise with these cards, which are massive. Again, like I said, they come um, edge normal in in white plain, but I've kind of like matched the theme from the back in the card. Here you could see like the violet pinkish sort of color, so I decided to add that up. In terms of what you get in the book, that will be at the end of the video. I'm still using these cards and getting used to them. So we'll cover quite a few and go through them. So let's have a look. We start off with the chakras first. We've got the Earth Star Chakra and then we've got the Root Chakra there. So you've got all of the various illustrations. Uh, you've got the symbols, as you could see there by the side. Card number one, initiation, the beginning of it all and this is pretty much how in the ver vision and the journey of the author what she will see the symbolism some of them do have this sort of borders and colors number two ground and center with the root chakra sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra we've got care of creation beautiful colors just highlighting the core of those energy fields and then you have the symbol of those 
right there by the side very nice muted colors that still shows up quite brightly beautiful essence of energies within those cards being highlighted um as to the way the author would have seen it radiant illumination there we've got the heart chakra and the high heart chakra now we have different groups of cards the first 10 cards are the chakra cards you have your normal seven but um, as time has evolved additionally um, energies are further revealed or further expand like here you have the heart chakra and then you go to the um, heart to high chakra from the crown to the soul star chakra and you know the actual beginning of it all the earth star chakra the initiation so we start off with the chakra cards and then the additions of the energies that's evolved from our own um, um, inner energy our own energy fields so these first group of cards are all about our energy fields and how the addition is how those energy fields have evolved or how it originally began so the expansion of our seven chakras or the essence the beginning of those seven chakras and how that further expands um our last two energy field cards is the crown chakra and the expansion of that that makes it a whole is the soul star chakra um the unlimited self so that's beautifully portrayed I, I love the way the crown chakra energy is displayed here absolutely amazing it, it's got all of the other chakras energy coming out there and all of these is merged together so that's the final energy field you could see the remaining chakras embodied within the soul there and all of that it emerges uh, merges and comes together as a whole creating our soul and then from that energy field we go into the next group of cards which is the elemental cards now uh, the elements we have our normal um, five elements the ether being the life force energy with the addition of the loving compassion and awaken awareness now i can easily see w why you have the addition of the elements from the regular four it makes absolutely it, it makes perfect sense because it's all about these energies coming together as creation itself so these elemental cards is about moving from your energy fields to the outside energies within our environment how we um, mingle or how it affects us like you know you've got the element of the air how that affects the um the energy fields of our mind uh, the heart chakra how the earth affects that energy field within so all of these illustration there are kind of like demonstrating or showing to you making you aware how the elements outside affects the energy field within you the fire you could you you have the image of the person there you've got the element of fire outside and within that you've got the various different chakras and various different other energies now all of that um the the expansion is what we have as the loving compassion card the loving compassion embodies all of that kind of energy it kind of feeds on this on on that and then our final elemental card is card number 17 the awakened awareness so you know now you are fully aware of what's inside of you how it makes you feel what it does and how that sort of like mingles with the energy outside so you've got a full awareness there you've got the intelligence the consciousness and then we move from there to what you call the seed cards the now these seed cards they wouldn't have symbols on them they're not going to have symbols on them like the chakra cards and the elemental had specific symbols these symbols are the activations is what you call the activation symbols now with the with the seed cards these cards go a lot more in depth and contains a lot of information to be on earth um, to experience further or to expand 
our universe, our consciousness. So all of these cards is about understanding the challenges, the blocks, the obstacles, the shadow and deeper meanings. This is where the expansion of your consciousness takes place, where you're going from the shadow into the light. And the images on, on these cards is literally how our ancestors, the Lemurians, um, managed these energies, how they found ways to um, manifest, to use these energies for healing, how, you know, they, 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 they transcend through the journeys using these energies. And pretty much the message here is making us realize, like here, the endless opportunities that we have, there is that our ancestors have used these great powers of manifestation of of, of healing um, evolved transcend and so on and all of these dictation of pictures here is teaching us the secret coding and everything within the symbolism of each of these cards is making use of all of these energies all of the information stored which within the Akashic Library, how to use them. And it's beautifully portrayed. Um, I know I'm going quite a bit in depth, but, you know, once you start using these cards and starting to feel how the message is portrayed across, it's absolutely amazing. It really is. It's a, it's a story. It's it's not really a story. It's like, it's like a book, a book of power, a book of knowledge, or knowledge being shared from our ancestors, of their ancestors, and so on, to us, and just being passed on. Third and further, friends, is about caring for all beings in this dimension, their environmental awareness and spirit guides, gracious receptivity, showing of gratitude, but also of giving wholeheartedly, and what that attracts back to you. Our next two card is Harmonic Flight and Beautiful Healing card. The um, Harmonic Flight, beautiful image, the divine source light on top in yellow, but how that energy is in us and is reflected in another. So seen in each other's eyes. It's all about the bonds of deep connection, beautifully illustrated, healing, stunning. You have the entire chakra system healed, causing balance on display with the beautiful auras also, the power of basically showing the power of the healing art. I love it. Our next two is home and internal explorer. The home card again is beautiful. Love how she is pointing inside of the heart, telling you that finding home is always within yourself. One of my biggest lessons of life, doesn't matter where you are outside, the temple of our being, our soul is inside. And that leads to the internal explorer the infinite depth of information and wisdom you have unexplored inside of you, how we hold the key of the collective consciousness. Absolutely beautiful. We evolve further from that. Wholeness is how we come into power. We accept who we are, internally uh, being present, how that looks and how that feels is um, our next card. So journey to wholeness. And that comes in various different colors. I love the image where it seems as though she's covered in so much emotions going on, but as though she's deep down in the sea and the water's there. And that evolves further into coming into power. Um, we use that life force energy when it is at our max, the bless of life force energy. And then you go into the luminescence and um, manifestia. So the luminescence is... Um, accepting your shadow as the opposite of your strength allowing that vulnerability uh, vulnerable open heart you know it's all about self-love is needed and then here is about manifestation the image showing all of the forms of manifesting around the pollinate pollinating wishes around you and we move into mount sashta and new blueprints um, the mount is a sacred power place. Um, I love how the connection feels out of the mountains. It's been shown and joined or linked with the stars, um, connecting with the ancestry. And the next one is the um, new blueprint. 
It's about taking action to make the change, uh, be the change you want to see. The image is kind of like highlights many forms of change taking place. There was like the small um, butterfly sound waves and colors and so much going on there. And then we've got our ancient future and the radical expansion. The main theme of the, um, the deck, uh, the ancient future, all about the... Um, ancient bloodlines, the various different activations of new paradigms, transformation taking place in various ways. And then the radical expansion is all about living to your fullest capabilities as big as you want, like the dragon there with all the various colors and expression it twirling and twisted around being put on display. And we move on to our next slot. Now the cards are becoming more and more beautiful as we go ahead. The messages goes even deeper and there's a lot more symbolism that seems to show up um, personally, I feel. We have the Realm Bridge, um, uh, Realm Bridger, a picture of what is the ar architect shaping the future, the display of the various levels of the dimensions having to go through. So different states of consciousness on display. Reclaim your energies, owning your power. Many arms of our energy fields, various fragments. The arms is basically choosing how we direct the energy. And then we have she of the lotus and shine your light. She, um, sh she is the lotus, of the lotus, is shadow again, shadow work, where there is a downfall of energy going down and a rising of energy above the head. So the various patterns of directions of energy happening on display, our overall sensitivity. Shine your light is all about doing what you love. She was shining her light out towards various different purpose, how much powerful that is, how much force we have in us. We have the star seed elemental, uh, face of innocence, child of the star where we can learn many things from where the child is becomes the teacher our children can teach us adults how to be more playful use our imagination the star seer is the journey and discovering the destination ladder of the shadow figure climbing out to trust in the stars and the dreams we have stepping through and we've got um surrender stepping through is all about um following your heart she's been held back by the various forces and energy yet she's also trying to break free from it again about trust yourself and to step out loosen the grip free your feet surrender is all about what happens when you set yourself free letting go and trusting and that looks very beautiful the way the shape and the image is is taking its form and then we've got our last lot of cards again they're becoming a lot more colorful and very vibrant we have the infinite and the um, portal keeper. The infinite is the various cycles of growth that is death and rebirth. You have a physical body that is a small part of that, but more of it is the life force energy going through the various trans, um, transitions of growth that you see around. The portal keeper, cats, cats are very mystical psychic beings. They have supposedly this multidimensional awareness to them. Um, that's taking place in the background. So basically it's encouraging us to, you know, explore these realms. The sound of the universe, wow. I've always imagined what the universe sounds like. Um, I love the image, the vast level of consciousness in the galaxy, no way, it's silent. So it's inviting us um, into a, a deep glimpse of the greater mystery. The violet flame, again, a flame I've discovered since a teenager, I have worked with for many years, uh, pulsing in your hands. It's a psychic tool available to us, um, all for healing, cleansing of all kind. We have the transformation, a card. So going within, she is within already and the transformation is taking place. It's like a cocoon you're in and how the innocence in her face and um, cuddling herself is the display of self-nurturing. Very, the very different color palette with the trust your innocence stands out because it's the truth on display, how that energy looks like, how her hands was open saying, this is who I really am. It's real. It's authentic. We've got our unique gifts. Looks very strange and weird on purpose because it's our shortcomings, our quirks, that unique part of you, that part which is in reality your true superpower. And then lastly, we have vulnerability, that which is that which we are afraid of is our true strength. You've got the dragon and various fragments of our healings, our wombs um, taking place. So now we're going to do a 
got a quick flip through. Hope you enjoy. So in terms of what you get in the book, you have your various different types of contents, which is kind of nicely broken out. The general introductions, you've got the various groups of cards that I covered, the chakra cards, the elemental cards, and that goes through into the next page, um, highlighting the remaining group of cards. You've got the seed cards, which is majority of the remaining cards. And again, it's pretty much I've, um, alphabetically in order, each and every single one of these cards. And then at the very end, if you want to know about the author, you get that information at the very end of the book where it talks about the author and also about the various different sort of like cards that are available from Blue Angel Publishing. Um, to begin with, you get a nice, beautiful image of the, um, the overall theme. And that pretty much talks about the notions of this card in general, which is a few pages worth, um, explaining the various different aspects of, you know, how this came together. And then you get your introduction part, which is pretty much explaining um, the world and everything uh, that was put together came through pretty much the journey of the author herself from her perspective um for from her visions and everything that she's gone through how it came to and you know what it's all about so you get quite a a lot of information in-depth information about these um this deck the ancestors the lemurian the lemurian world and everything and kind of brief um in-depth explanation of each particular cards. You also have the various different spreads and the various different layouts. It's really sort of like nicely broken down for you. 
and the vast amount of spreads that you can use, the vast amount of readings you can get. You've got one here moving through triggered moments, decision making, uh, one for manifestation, bringing in love, matters around health, aura, insights about the energy body, um, ma the magic of oneself. You've got so many ways um, you could use these cards in a form of a, like a free card spread. Um, so there's plenty of information in that. You, you get quite a lot. Before you actually go into the general understanding and the meaning of the cards, you will pick up quite a lot of knowledge, of wisdom and information uh, regarding this deck. So there's just so much how things like come together. So, so much in this book. So it's it's not one where, you know, they just quickly rush through things you are getting a lot of information there. I mean, this deck, the message, it's there made to kind of like, you know, be put out there for everyone. And then we go into the card meanings. You start off, again, everything is categorized. So you've got the chakra cards. The cards will be displayed as black and white, quite small. You've got the word number and <clears throat> word of the card. And then you've got like the general meaning. You get a brief summary of the various different attributes of that card it'll give you a meaning and then it talks about the restoring aspect the themes the healing healing position and the color so in everything to do with your chakras you know how to restore it the general themes its color healing properties so you get all of that information um, in the meanings of the chakra cards the other groups are slightly different but, you know, it gives you an idea of how much information you're going to get, the amount of knowledge uh, that, you know, you're going to absorb. It's absolutely fantastic. And it pretty much repeats itself. It goes throughout the entire deck. And then when we jump into the next group, again, you have a, a specific illustration of the image. It's pretty much exactly the same. You've got the small print. You've got the number wording, brief summary. But instead you will only have um, two sections. You get the overall theme of that card and uh, the first section is pretty much the overall meaning. And it's exactly the same for all of the other elementals. And then when you go to the seed cards, again, you get that first illustration of pictures. Again, it is different. You get still the card illustration, you get the number, then the wording, brief summary, and then you've got kind of like a massive sort of like in-depth information. And then you get the generally the general meaning of that card. So like I said, it's it, the seed cards tend to be one that you're going to go more in depth with. The chakra is, you know, it has the various different properties and working with that energy field. The elemental is pretty much the same. And here at the back, everything you need to know about the author. So that was a look at the Beyond Lemuria um. Uh, oracle card absolutely fantastic i love it i i keep learning from this deck so much you keep learning hope you've enjoyed and i wish you all a happy new year as well